Okay, so we're back at the uh, Asus 1025C, and this time we're going to uh, replace a broken screen. If your screen looks like this, then this instruction uh, video is for you. I'm going to shut this off. Okay, good practice to get into before you start doing these types of things is remove the battery and disconnect the power. Okay, just like when I uh, replace the RAM in this uh, machine, I'm going to use a gift card or a credit card to get in under the bezel. And you just need to kind of get a corner in there. You can use a small uh, straight screwdriver as well. Okay, you don't want to break any tabs. So you want to kind of go a little bit easy. And also the hinges uh, have these little covers on them. You don't want to break those off either. Okay, next we're going to take a small Phillips, a number zero Phillips, and we're going to remove the two screws that hold the uh, screen itself on the right hand side when you're looking at the screen. Okay, and then on this side we're going to remove the screws holding the uh, screen as well as the bracket on that side. Okay, next you're just going to take your finger and sort of uh, gently bend this out and then slide the uh, cable and the screen by it like this. And that's what you need to do to get that out of there. Okay. Next what we're going to do is, is try to remove this tape and I like to keep it intact and use as much of the original tape as I can. Kind of take note as to how high up on the screen that actually is and try not to get it back on itself. There's tape here as well, it's like a double stick tape, you can kind of peel that up. Okay, and then you've got tape here as well. So I like to take a small screwdriver and just kind of get underneath that to get it started. You don't want to break the connector. And again, if you can't get, get it off with the tape intact, you can always just put new tape on it. So, just give that a wiggle and that comes right off. Okay, let me get my new screen. We'll show you how to install it. Okay, so you can see I have a new screen here. I got this at uh, laptopscreens.com. If you buy, I think, five or more, they're like $32 right now. Got to remove the uh, protective plastic. Okay, so I'm just going to lay this down just like the other one came off. I'm going to take this flat connector, I don't know if you can see that, and I'm just going to slide it on there. Uh, and I don't want to bend the wires necessarily, so I'm just going to get it started. And then what I like to do is take the edge of my flat screwdriver and grab the metal corners and just push it in to place. Let's see if I can get a close up of it here. Okay, so you don't really want any gaps here. You can see how this is flush and these corners pretty much sit right down and I just kind of take my screwdriver and push in on it. Okay, This is the tape I was talking about. And again if you feel more comfortable putting new tape on this you can and I might put an extra piece on there myself. And then we're going to bend this back down just like it was. And then try to line up this tape over here along the edge of the screen just like it was when you removed it. 
that's going to help um, ensure that you have this in the right position. Okay, and there was a there was a double stick tape here, which may not be so sticky anymore. So if you just want to take a piece of tape and tape that down, you can do that as well. All right. Again, we're just going to take our finger and bend out this little bracket up here. Slide the screen by it. You don't want to scratch your new screen, so be careful with it. Okay, and just remember that the, uh, the screen goes on the outside of the bracket over here. So the bracket goes on first, the screen's on the outside of that. And the wire has a couple of channels that you can kind of poke it into down here, but I like to get the screen in place first. So, let's see if we can do that. If you lean it back a little bit, the screen will kind of sit there for you. Okay, so on this side here, like I said, you can take and tuck this wire back down and there's a couple of channels down here that you kind of want to tuck it in to get out of the way. You can reapply this metallic tape here. You just don't want it to be pinched when you put the bezel back on. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start the video. I'm going to put the battery in. I'm going to test it before I snap the, be the bezel back on. Just uh, in case there are any problems, you don't want to have to snap that back off. Every time you take off these plastic pieces, you risk uh, loosening or weakening or breaking tabs, okay? All right, let's see. What we want to see here is the bio screen, obviously. Looks good. Looks much better than it did uh, before we replaced the screen. Okay, so now you can snap the bezel back on. And again, you have these little corner hinges here kind of want to get those down in. You can lay the screen back. It helps to get them in there. And again, watch out for the wire on the uh, left-hand side when you're facing the screen. Okay, the way I get this bottom piece here is with a small flat screwdriver like this. I'll come up from this side and kind of apply pressure with the screwdriver as well as my thumb at the same time. And don't forget about the corners. Okay, that's it. Just kind of keep working your way around until it's all uh, completely snapped in. You don't want any gaps. Uh, you don't want to break the screen, so take it easy on it. And that's it. That's how you replace the screen on a, an Asus 1025C uh, 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 netbook. And I'm assuming that this process is going to be the same or similar on a lot of other netbooks uh, as well as laptops. Um, one main difference being how you get the bezel off, uh, the electrical connections and so forth, but the process is typically the same. Uh, and on newer laptops, you rarely have to actually remove the base of the computer. So hopefully this was helpful. Leave questions and comments below. Uh, good luck, have fun, take your time, and don't break anything.